Witness a killer's desperation just sentenced to prison, he makes his move. And it means killing a beloved deputy and father. May 1st is the worst professional day in my career. Um, one of the officers whose job is to protect me while I'm doing my job was killed. The Pottawatomie County Attorney's Office walks us through the jail escape. Deputies Mark Burbridge and Pat Morgan bring Correa Carminati back to jail after sentencing. They followed procedure, placing their guns in the van's front seat. Deputy Morgan believing he had locked the van. He releases a female inmate from her side. Moments later, Burbridge opens the door to release Correa Carminati. Little does Burbridge know he somehow removed his shackles. Correa Carminati lunges at Burbridge, stabbing him in the neck and face with sharpened toothbrushes. Morgan runs back to help, but things take a turn. The door opens up. As soon as the door opens up, the deputies, Mark and Pat, know it's not locked like they thought. So now it becomes a race for the gun. Correa Carminati fatally shoots Burbridge, wounds Morgan, then the gun jams. The county attorney believes that saved Morgan's life. Question that you ask, how do you know the gun's jammed? Well, you know the gun's jammed because he tried to pull the trigger again. From there, Correa Carminati takes the van's keys from Morgan, then floors it out of the sally port. Knowing he has to ditch the van, he targets a driver near the jail, wounding him as well. Then he carjacks a woman, making her ride into Omaha and show him how to drive manual. Finally, he releases her, leads Omaha police on a chase, crashes, and surrenders. After his capture, more chilling images, messages scrawled into a Woodbury County jail cell by Correa Carminati. Things like Wesley, cop killer. For County Attorney Matt Wilbur, it's the reason they vowed to get a life sentence. And the coward that attacked him has now been sentenced, and he will not see another, he will not breathe another breath of free air in his life. And for that, I am thankful. And authorities never found one piece of evidence, a contraband key Correa Carminati may have used to unshackle the cuffs, and he may have been hiding it in his hair. The county attorney says it's important to show this evidence in order to answer questions, offer some healing, and make sure this never happens again.